There are over 40 million people in the United States suffering from anxiety disorders, and one of the anxiety disorders we talk about a lot today is post-traumatic stress disorder, with everyone coming back from war. There are also other disorders that affect people more commonly, such as phobias. We have fear of heights, fear of crowds, fear of closed spaces, and these types of things can be debilitating in everyday life. Functional magnetic resonance imaging is the best way we can study the function of the brain in humans. And we can use that technique here to understand how the brain processes fear. The breakthrough is that we have uncovered how the brain stores memory and also restores memory. Because we understand that, we can now use that knowledge to manipulate a memory in such a way that we get rid of a fear. We now understand there's a period of time where memories are fragile. And this allows us to target the memory to rewrite it, update it, or maybe erase it. What we did in this study is we brought people into the laboratory and we created a fear memory by showing them a yellow square and pairing it with a mild electric shock. That memory now was stored in the brain like a file. That's a process called consolidation. A day later, we brought the subjects back to the laboratory and we presented the yellow square again. This opened up that file. Now, the memory was in a stage called reconsolidation. During this stage, the memory is being restored, and once again, the memory is a little unstable or fragile. Now what happens is we have a window of time. It starts about 10 minutes later, goes up to maybe an hour when this window is open. During that time interval, during that 50 minutes or so, we think we're able to add things to that file. And now we show them the yellow square a number of times with no shock. So now they're learning the yellow square is safe. By presenting this new information that the memory was safe, we essentially rewrote that file. We changed that memory. The memory was stored again. And now we have a memory of the yellow square that it's safe. A third day we come back and we say, do they still have any fear of the yellow square? And most of the time they would. But because we gave that new safe information during that time window of reconsolidation, now we find the fear never comes back. The primary way we treat anxiety disorders today is to give people drugs to dampen the anxiety symptoms. What we really want to do is change how the fear is represented in the brain so that now you don't need the drug. We can actually change your memories and change the fear. In the decade I've been at NYU, I have seen an explosion in the number of students who want to study neuroscience. And I think this is because we have these fantastic ways to look at the human brain in action and understand psychology in ways we never did before. You can't talk about human, the human mind without talking about the brain. They're inseparable in ways we always knew they were, but we couldn't actually study. So I'm privileged to be able to take this to my freshmen to show them how we can now understand who they are in ways we didn't even imagine 20 years ago.